Welcome back. This week we are kicking off a new campaign here on WBZ this morning. All of us will be sharing some stories about the local people that have inspired us. Today I'm telling my story of a well-known historian who helped to mentor me. When I was a kid, my dream was to be a journalist. So my friend Mike introduced me to his mom, who was a writer, and not just any writer, Doris Kearns Goodwin. Hello, Hi, you. Doris. Hi. <laughs> wow, this so is so good. So you've seen a lot of these pictures, right? Yes. Oh, so, I remember yeah. all these. So <gasps> this is when I'm 24 as a White House fellow working with LBJ. <laughs> but I remember you would let me look. I remember you had a, a you were just written, and you would let look, let us look at pages of it. Oh, wow. And I would think, she's writing a book, and this is how she's doing it. And I think it was Lincoln. Yes, it probably was. It would have been, yeah. This book was the one that mattered the most to me in some ways. I, don't, I mean, I don't know if you really understand. This was just so inspirational to me, to be around you. And I remember thinking to myself, I got to get into this world. It just was such <laughs> I'm a... I'm so glad. No, I know it matters. When I went to Harvard to get my PhD, the head of the department said, you know, you women are taking the place of a man. Um, you're unlikely statistically to finish. But I remember the three of us just went out and had a drink. And we thought, we'll show him. Yeah. And we did. But you had it a little bit easier. But still, to see women doing things, it makes a huge difference. I remember sort of my mom telling me that, you know, when she was growing up, you could be a nurse, you could be a teacher. You know, and that was pretty much it. You, you could never be a journalist. I just think it's a great age to be a young woman and to be on this television as you are now representing yourself to some young girl that's yeah. seeing you in high school and thinking, yeah, I can become like Katie. Yeah, well, you know, I, I have two daughters, and so when I do this job, I think about them all the time. You probably don't even remember the conversation we had, but it, it was a conversation that I needed at the time because I was probably 19 or 20 and thinking... What am I going to do with my life? Journalism was really just part of my whole sort of being. Right. But I never thought a girl could do it. And so when I met you, and you were like, you can do it. And I thought, well, Doris Kearns Goodwin says <laughs> I could be a reporter, that I'm going to be a reporter. It just meant so much. Girls Hooray. And you yeah. made it. Big, wow. big time. Awesome. I'm so proud of it's you. A dream, it's a dream come true to be back in Boston. Yeah. Thank you wow. so much, Doris. I just have oh, to say thank I, you. Well, I'm thrilled to know that. Yeah. I mean, to be a little part of that path to where you are great. She was the reason I got into TV news, and so she's a real big inspiration to me. But I'm excited to hear about your inspirations, why you guys, what inspires you on a daily basis in your local towns. You could just tell how passionate both of you were in that, you yeah. know? So, that's yeah, it awesome. Was, it was great. So, we'll, throughout the week, be doing that of each one of us. And we want to hear from you, mm. what inspires you in your local town. So, we'll be getting into that more.